first step in human-computer interaction is to teach the machines. To decode more subtle, sophisticated cues of our feelings, they concentrate on the most expressive part of our body, the face. The team is led by Professor Peter Robinson. What I'm really intrigued about is these things here. I've got this graph output of my mental state. The computer is literally trying to read my mind, telling me what I'm feeling just from my expressions. For instance, the higher the green line, the more I'm showing agreement. So what's happening here is we're just using an ordinary webcam to, to look at your face, mm -hmm. and then we're making uh, calculations to work out where various key features are, edges of the mouth, eyes, eyebrows. And then it turns out that various combinations of gestures, like nodding while smiling, is a sign of agreement. Yeah, OK. I, yes, I'm agreeing with you. I think this is very interesting. Hmm. And I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting good agreement scores. You're agreeing, and we're getting a little burst of the red trace that shows that you're interested in what's going on, which I, I guess you probably are at the moment. Psychologists have identified an incredible 412 emotions for the computer to learn. And even then, our facial expressions can be ambiguous. Mouth open. Mouth open's a very interesting one, because there are two reasons that you might open your mouth. Mm. One is <gasps> surprise, and one is <laughs> happiness. Ah. And the difference is the colour inside. So we have to do a little bit of colour analysis ah. of the aperture of the mouth to separate those two. I can see machines are becoming a bit more human. Wouldn't it be great if they really knew when you were angry with them, or shocked? Having a sympathetic computer could be really useful. And what if they could also be more human by displaying emotions? Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Ah, Charles. <laughs> that is pretty freaky. Charles is an animatronic head with 24 motors controlling his face, giving him human emotions despite a very dodgy wig. He's been built to see whether we're comfortable with an emotional robot or not. What's weird is that there appears to be some personhood there, but I'm slightly suspicious of that person, which is unfair on you, Charles, because I haven't met you really. I'm fascinated and scared. But will I be able to understand what Charles is feeling? OK, Charles, let's have a look at your emotional range. Wow, that's very, very intriguing. Um, either it's pain or it's uh, frustration. I'll go for frustration. It's grumpy. Close. The second emotion was a bit more complex. Oh, my God, furrowed brow, lip curled. Squinty eyes, oh my goodness, disgust. Something like a horrible look. Yeah, maybe that's it. Arrogant. Arrogant? Charles was actually doing quite a good, oh, don't you know who I am, kind of arrogance. But I didn't pick it up. <laughs> it just shows how difficult it is for humans and machines to interact emotionally. But having seen just the beginnings of it in Charles, I can see that sometime in the future, it will get increasingly sophisticated. <laughs>